Since 1974, we've accumulated around 2,000 acres of botanical garden property where we grow various rare and endangered species. We have a catalog of about 112,000 accessioned plants that we track, tracking each individual plant as it goes from seed to seedling to propagule until it's planted out. The garden has utilized various types of mapping techniques, hand-drawn maps, things like that, eventually moving to using GIS technology. We've been slowly moving towards a method of having the plants mapped as they're put in the ground by the staff that are doing it. We decided to stop post-processing at points, so we decided to purchase the Aero 100, which we have been using alongside Hobo Toolbox. All of those points are held in our Living Collections database on site. There are high caliber maps that we use for presentation purposes and, and specific research goals. We'll use ArcGIS. Now we're getting to a point where we can have some of our remote locations enter the data in the field and it can just be approved and submitted straight into our database. It's important to label these plants and attach a high accuracy geolocation to that specific plant. And it's even more important in those dense areas because you could potentially have two plants that look very similar right next to each other. And if they both lose their identification tags, the next generation of scientists at the gardens, they won't necessarily know that plant A came from population A, or they might not even know the specific species. So if you still have a high accuracy GPS point, you can know with 100% certainty and that helps fight in our mission to prove the genetic diversity for future generations.